<laughs> so anyway, so we are going to have, like I said, before we start the uh, the little uh, intro to it, I do want to explain uh, <laughs> Podheads Court, Podheads Court of Public Opinion. Folks, basically, we are going to be starting a new segment here where we take uh, arguments, where we take issues, social issues that people have, um, and we have a defense and a prosecution. People argue both sides of, of, of the argument, and, and we decide here today, I'll be the judge, and we decide on who argued better in favor for their client mm -hmm. to decide uh, who you know who's right in this conversation. Kind of like if you follow the subreddit, am I the asshole? Or if you've sure. got you know, friend court, sometimes you yeah. have arguments with friends or complain about your wife or something at work, Can't and you wanna know, court. am I wrong? Am I crazy here? We'll let you Send know. Send it to us. We'll let you know. <laughs> we'll argue your points. Mm -hmm. Our prosecutors, our defense. We'll, we'll even let you pick who argues your point. There you go. And they will argue and defend you uh, with passion or come after your ass. <laughs> I'm coming. Uh, so anyway. Uh, if you pick him, I'm coming for you. Yep. Be because of this inaugural edition uh, and other editions where we don't have anything, we will be looking at places like Am I the Asshole on Reddit or other Reddit posts or other Instagram tweets, anything like that. Sometimes we'll even get into a celebrity business and, and argue whether, you know, who's the asshole in that mm -hmm. situation, right? So anyway, this one comes from a Reddit uh, called the, uh, the, the, the major post. And I've sent these to these guys so that they can do their, um, their preparations. Uh, preparations. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I uh, I was let's go ahead and hit our intro. Uh, first edition of Podhead. <laughs> Bitches. Hey, look at that. So, yeah, you know, that, 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 um anyway so we have a case here <laughs> jb decided we, we have an argument between a man and a woman mm -hmm. the name of the post on reddit was we just we met once it, it says we met once he's 37 okay big ace has decided to defend the plaintiff here which is the man in this mm -hmm, case mm -hmm, and we mm -hmm. won't be naming the people of sure. course who is 37. jb here has decided to defend the female in this of course he did we don't have yeah. an age for her but she's hey, listen, the one that this was court appointed all right yes. <laughs> all right so here's let's present the evidence to you go ahead and pull the uh thing up on screen i did i i don't know if i i'm not sure if i didn't put it up we might have to add it uh uh shit. Oh, crap okay. all right you know what? i'm just gonna read them to you because I, I i i messed up i had all the uh i had it all up on screen i'm gonna read them to you and you guys are going to just have to listen. Sorry. <laughs> uh, all right. This is a conversation between a man and a woman via text. Okay. It, she pulls it up mid conversation. Okay. The woman says, I don't think about my past relationships because it's in the past and I legitimately don't care, but I've never had someone ask so many questions about them. The man replies, I honestly think communication is huge. If you really felt that way, why couldn't you communicate that instead you focused on what pushed your buttons and got defensive she says i'm pretty sure me saying wow lots of relationship questions would have been enough of a hint so what we have here so far is an argument between a man and a woman that's starting to get it's a conversation where he seems to be getting to know this woman and she seems to start getting defensive because he's a bitch a lot of relationship questions sir sir yes please Hold, please hold please. your comments until please. the end of, uh, <laughs> until, you know, it's objection. Speak. Please, objection. Please. All right. Continuing. The man says, how do I even break this down? You don't think personality questions go hand in hand with relationship questions. And of course I have to multitask. It's important at my age and yours. Do you think I just want a friend? No, I want a girlfriend. And if I shoot for the moon and miss and end up having a friend, so be it. We don't have a lot of time. We used to, we don't have a lot of time like we used to in our 20s to be pitter pattering around. He says, I really don't think you can't accomplish both. 
I don't know why you intrigue me so much, but you do. Because you know both you and I could go out in our respective cities and find whatever we wanted. So, you know, this guy's got no lack of confidence. He's basically explaining to her, like, look, I ain't trying to play no games. This is what I want. Um, and, you know, I look, I'm a catch too, essentially, right? He says, same goes for the other side of the coin. If you told me you had 47 boyfriends, I'd be scratching my head. She responds, dude, this is a lot. It would have been better if you actually got to know me versus all of this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's, he's texting a lot. He goes, I agree, but I also think nothing worthwhile was ever easy to, in my life. She says, I don't sit here and pray to God. I meet my future husband. I literally don't care. It's very low on my list of priorities. To which he responds, okay, so that's one part of our life we don't see eye to eye about. How sweet would it be to come across somebody to do cool things <clears throat> with in this life, have a joint bank account, uh, uh, and He's have tripping. all the things, be a power couple, entertain, enjoy friends, and work out. That doesn't stop our personal growth. If anything, it enhances it. So she asks a, a question. Do you refer to yourself as an alpha male? To which he replies, do you think there's any beta firefighters? <laughs> <Got> <laughs> to which point. she said, goodbye. <laughs> now, the conversation was over for her at this point, but he led on or he kept on. He says, I can't sit here and pretend I'm some little bitch anymore. I don't know who you think I am, but I'm a bad mother effort. I'm desirable <laughs> and I'm not going to change the way I act for somebody to impress them. I was a special forces soldier with four tours to the war, a combat sports athlete, <laughs> a 10 year firefighter paramedic, college athlete. I have an investment portfolio. <laughs> a, a stable job, a good car, and the list could go on for quite a bit longer. When a woman's with me, she will feel safe and comfortable and enjoyable. Uh, you've made me question my existence and my worth. I'm over it. Wow. And she and then he said, "Do you think your dad, who I don't even know, would, uh, but I respect due to his career, got where he was being a pushover?" So now, of course, the, the online community, the peanut gallery has come through and talking all kinds of, mostly against him, talking all of kinds course. of smack about this uh, conversation, about him being an alpha douche and all this stuff. And so I want to give our potheads uh, uh, lawyers here the mm -hmm. opportunity to argue in favor <clears throat> for both. What of you got, people. JB? So I, I the, the favor of the male here has given it up to JB to gladly and i would like that blunt while you go so ahead opening arguments yeah, for fucking... the defense of the female jb okay, yes, you, okay. you couldn't like the blunt while you were listening please, to let him, let him talk. <laughs> order, order please please all right let's think about this uh i'm assuming this was an online thing right this is how everybody dates it's an online it's an online thing so you're asking questions and, and whatnot so the conversation there was a starting point everything was probably going fine until the point he started asking questions about her previous relationships. Like what you what like what you trying to set her up for? Like what you you ain't a hoe? You ain't got no previous uh, uh relationships? But why is that important on day one? Why is How that do we know it was day, day one? one? Because that was part of the, the part of the story. We've only met once, or we only talked once, we only met once one day has only elapsed. That's what I'll say that. Uh, what happened to Tack? What happened to romance, man? What happened to smooching the ladies? Uh, he said, I ain't got time for this. Well, homegirl ain't got time for you either. Like, you got to make time. I understand it's 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 a, it's a fast-paced world. And, and, you know, he's got soldiering over here and basketball over there, whatever else he said. Uh, but you don't you have to take care of the ladies? What's Let's be real. What's the what's what's his goal? He said he's trying to get a girlfriend, but he's trying to get ladies trying to get over there. How are you just going to ask this lady to marry you on day one? That's how it felt like. Let's get let's get a joint bank account. Let's get a let's get it. Let's get Beyonce and, and, and you know, you know, uh, let's get couple? exactly. Let's get the power couple, uh power couple thing going like it's a little too much for my client. She told you from jump It's I want to meet people. But this is not a priority for me to fall in love. Sure, sure. Slow down, pimping. 
Okay. Firefighter. Okay. Very good. Very good. And we have to keep it concise because we, we're on a time limit, but I like it. Very concise. Well, a good argument. How old is she? Before, before I say anything, I'm going to allow uh, the prosecution an opportunity here to defend the male and to come after the female. And then I'll give you guys a quick opportunity, maybe one or two questions to cross-examine one another okay. before I weigh in. Gotcha. Big Ace, please. It's fucking simple. <clears throat> He's 37 fucking years old. Please, please, please. Let's, let's sorry, keep it clean. Sorry, here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Civil here. <clears throat> anyway, it's simple. He's 37 years old. He don't got time for the bullshit. He don't got time to waste his time with some broad that ain't about no that ain't about nothing. You just out, you you just out fucking sow your royal the oats. Go have a motherfucker take you out for a few meals and maybe not even give up the buns. I don't know. <laughs> but I've been there. <laughs> Dating at 37, dating at 40. Yeah, I don't got pissed. time for that bullshit. I don't got that much time left. If I'm if we're dating, it's because I see so, I'm trying to move forward with something. If we just smashing, I don't give a damn about what your goals are or anything like that. But if I'm if we're dating, I'm dating to marry. I date, to, I'm not just going out willy-nilly on dates because and spending my money and wasting my time for somebody that ain't on the same page or on the same level as me at that age and you ready and you ready to settle down and build a family or whatever you don't got time for no bullshit and most women most mature women at that age understand that and they're pretty much on the same page they don't got no time for no bullshit either so it's like either are we doing this or are we not are we just gonna be messing around or are we gonna try to make something work so as far as I'm concerned, he's 100% in his right. He's 37 years old. He's ready to settle down. He don't got no time for no BS. So I think that absolutely be honest, be upfront. If she on the bullshit, then cool, let her go. But okay. stay in your ground, know who you are, and that and it is what it is. Okay, all right. Very good. Good arguments from both sides, I must say. Good arguments from both sides. Uh, did you have any questions? Did you have any points? Final points yes. to make. Yes. A question for the uh, cross examination. Yes, I have a final point and one question. Uh, just to answer that 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 you know statement from the, the yeah rebuttal here. Uh, she said right from jump. Why don't you get to know me instead of asking all these questions about my previous relationship? How do you get to know somebody without asking them questions? Okay, okay, you're asking about all my previous relationship. That's going to tell you what you want to know about uh, me. Maybe tells you Maybe about I'm, their mindset, how they act, how they are in a relationship. If you've been in 37 relationships and, and there's been a bunch of clusterfucks, what? the common denominator is probably you. Well, so I'll tell you what, sir, you're 37 years old. The common denominator is you, sir. Maybe there's a reason. Here's the question. Maybe. Maybe here's he a, wasn't ready until then. Okay, here's the question. If you're a true alpha male, a true military guy athlete, do you got to say that? Do you have to stand up there and say, look at me, look at my big balls. <laughs> All right. I'm the, I'm the man here. You should be appreciated of me. He didn't do, but he didn't do that until she questioned it. What do you mean? She you, questioned whether he was, oh, you must be an alpha male. And that's when he said, bitch, I am. Okay. Well, okay. Four, still, okay. That's so, fine. Okay. Okay. So rebuttal. No, but pretty much the same shit. Response or question from you. Big I, I have a question okay, actually for question big A's. From, do you support personally the alpha male movement, quote unquote? Like, do you believe in alpha males and beta males yeah, at all yes, dude, dude. as like a, as a concept at all? Or are you just defending this dude no, I because think you're definitely defending this dude? Alpha males and beta males. Okay. Yeah, I feel That's like absolutely. you're dumb then. Okay. All right. So Big Ace, do you have a final so, rebuttal So you ain't question? never seen a circle of friends where the one guy, everybody else kissing it, kisses his ass and jumps around him. And this guy's basically the man here and everybody else are lackeys. You never seen that shit? So what you're telling me is, so five other guys kissing one guy's ass don't make them beta males? That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> you're right. But that goofy, but that goofy got, motherfucker's probably got a different personality, So we got, right? we got Cash off screen here uh, asking Big Ace about whether he believes that alpha males and beta males exist. Big Ace says he does. Anything closing argument before I weigh in? All right. He said what he's got to say. I will say this <clears throat> again, both very strong arguments from both sides. Although I do believe that the man in this case, I agree in the sense where most bad motherfuckers <laughs> don't have to call themselves 
bad motherfuckers. I also feel that uh, the time to get to know one another should be face to face on dates during the courting period. You shouldn't be asking someone their entire lifestyle history resume via text. It comes <coughs> off desperate. Mm -hmm. It's a little much. And I think at 37, you should know that mm -hmm. if, you, if you're not self-aware enough to understand that you're you're pushing yourself and the fact that she just didn't stop responding like most people just stop just ghost don't respond them, right. ghost them but did she he, she's given him an opportunity she's given him an opportunity to to respond uh go ahead where did the how did these questions happen was uh, it we don't we, there's text? no context did there's they no have context. a conversation but obviously he was asking too much the other side of the coin and i know we gotta get to break but the other side of the coin here is for the female you know did it, she yes she has a right to to feel like she's not being uh you know uh badgered about the stuff but at the same time we do know that there's a double standard for females mm -hmm. if a woman goes up and says i'm a bad bitch i take care of the bills i raise my kids mm -hmm. i do this i'm a dancer i'm an athlete it's all Get it, girl. Yep, you better respect yeah. you better appreciate that's a bad woman and you'd be lucky to have her that's true. so but when I, a man I, does I it, agree. He's boasting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I agree with the sentiment that uh, the man could be confident in, in who he is and what he does. He doesn't have to necessarily list his resume. Neither does a woman. But being that there's a double standard there, there, is, there uh, is. the woman does not have the right to 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 paint him to be a psycho for 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 saying such a thing. Okay. That being said, that being said, in this situation, I do have to weigh as much as I feel for the guy. I feel that. The guy, he just not smooth, just not smooth at all. You had an opportunity with a chick and you blew it. Yeah. I think you could have, I think that if you would have been a little bit more smooth, I'm not saying that I disagree with how he feels, but I think that if you would have been a little bit more smooth, a little bit more tactful, a little less douchey, <laughs> then you would have probably been able to work things mm -hmm. out. So in this case, but we don't know ruling, how that happened though. We don't know how the questions came. But what we do hey, know, hey, hey, hey. what we do know, my ruling is it for the fate for, for a favor of the female. Thank you. So that, yeah, that is the judgment he, on Podheads Court. Thank you. What's up, everybody? It's your boys Frank the Tank and JB Perez from the Podheads Web Show. Here to remind you to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, hit the alerts button if you want to find out every time we drop some new fire. Yeah, that's right. And we're dropping new videos every day at 420. So if you like what you saw, click here or here for more content from the podcast.